Hey guys, here with Nate Horner, who is our United Conservative candidate in Drumheller Stetler. Now that's a huge piece of East Central Alberta, right? Very big. Basically right? the size of a small European country. Bigger than Belgium. <laughs> you got the special areas in there and uh, Drumheller, Hannah, Stetler, some other towns. Painters County, Provost, yeah, it's, it's big. So uh, Nate, you're from a pretty well-known Alberta family. Tell us a little bit about that and your own background. Well, po politics has always been in the background, I guess, but most of it was before my time and in my immediate family. But uh, it's always been something we're taught to pay attention to and it was important. And you're, uh, you help run a ran family ranch, yeah? Yeah, after school, I was able to buy into the family farm and uh, about 15 years on my own, growing the business, employing people. It's, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So is it a uh, farm and ranch operation? How, you have Pre to some cattle? Or? Yeah, predominantly cattle. Uh, we do farm a little bit too, mostly for feed. Uh, we're in the driest part of Alberta, I'd say. So uh, we irrigate a little too, and that's been a major blessing. Well, that's a lot of responsibility. Uh, and now you're taken a, a new turn and and you've been nominated uh, for the ledge. What motivated you to do that? Uh, I got two little kids, two and five. Um, just just kind of reflecting on our situation and, and watching the farms, the farms get bigger and uh, all the pressure on rural life everywhere. It just, it felt like a time we need some strong voices from rural Alberta. And I felt compelled and uh, partially because of you, I, uh, I, I was on board with putting the parties together right away, and uh, yeah, you did inspire me somewhat, for well, sure. Well, I'm uh, honored to hear that, but it's all about the team here, and you're part of a, uh, how, you mind if I ask how old you are? Uh, 38. So you're part of this new generation of leadership. Nearly half of our candidates are under 40, and I just think it's great to have this, uh, this new blood. Last question, what are you hearing from the folks out in Drumstead? Uh, carbon tax, for sure. Um, it, it hurts, uh, especially agriculture. It's... Uh, it's definitely felt uh, overall economy, but with uh, a definite uh, pressure on oil and gas. You know, we're a rural oil and gas uh, centric riding for sure. Um, the coal plant, uh, Hannah, I have the other plant south of Forestburg as well. A lot of neighbors, friends work at the mine. The pressure that puts on a town like Hannah, businesses, the, the families, the, the populations in the schools, it, uh, it's all connected and it, uh, the, the pressure the pressures felt throughout the entire town yeah it's it, you see the real human consequences of, of bad government policy out there definitely yeah well Nate um, I'm, I'm so glad you're doing this and I know you're going to be a great voice for the people of East Central Alberta and uh, let's get her done very good Cheers. I'm excited thank you very much yes thank you